In this video, I'll be talking about Arsenal's Champions League draw and also Eddie Nketiah as he has received his first England call-up. i also talk about Rob Holding as there's been a slight update on him and also Edu Gaspar as he was talking about the transfer window. So starting off with the main news of today and it was of course the Champions League draw. Been a while since obviously Arsenal fans can talk about this as it's the first time back in about 7 years I believe. But we were finally back and the Champions League draw obviously took place today and the overall draw is here as you can see some very interesting draws such as Man United by Munich Real Madrid and Napoli also a very interesting group of deaths with PSG AC Milan Borussia Dortmund and Newcastle but obviously the main thing to talk about is Arsenal's group which is Sevilla PSV and obviously Lens lots of discussion around the group some people been saying we wish that we would have got maybe a better team and maybe two other small teams as they want a massive game on the return to the Champions League but others are saying yep this is okay not exactly easy games but no absolutely you know unbelievable team in there and in my opinion I don't mind the draw I think it's fine you know Sevilla good team PSV good team and Lens obviously a decent team too we're just filled with three other good teams however I would expect to top this group as I believe we are the best team in that group I don't think the actual teams kick off until maybe the end of September so still under a month until we wait to play our first game and obviously if you finish top of your group Group, it should hopefully give you a better chance at getting an easier draw in the round of 16. Lots of jokes saying that you know it kind of looks like a Europa League draw or group and to be honest it kind of does as this is the kind of group you'd get in the Europa League. But it is what it is I really don't mind the group it's just very nice to be back in the Champions League and you know finally be able to be involved in the draw. Watching out for Arsenal's name in the draw and very exciting you know first time back in it of course. Champions League football is finally back at the Emirates and we do have to wait a little bit longer to see our first game but we will be in the competition of course and this is what our group stage looks like so very very interesting and hopefully I would expect us to you know qualify from this 100% I would be very disappointed if we even finish second to be honest never mind finish third and go back to the Europa League I would expect to be finishing top and hopefully you know be some good convincing performances as well home and away Spain Netherlands and France and I believe that's not actually too far away from England in comparison to some of the other countries too so overall a decent draw considering quality of teams and travel as well so I don't mind this but Arsenal's Champions League draw has been confirmed but moving on to the other significant news of today and that is obviously the England squad where Eddie Nketiah got his first ever England senior call up Aaron Ramsdale, Declan Rice and Bukayo Saka also got called up for England but there's not really surprising news in that as they are usually regulars for them but Eddie Nketiah obviously I didn't really expect this I think he 100% deserves it but I thought Southgate would go with somebody else but he was talking about Eddie Nketiah and he said that this is an area that we would like to have a look at him he's a young player with a really good pedigree and a very good finisher too it's good for him to have some time with us and he's also the record scorer with the under 21 so Eddie and Ketty are obviously lots of mixed opinions on him within the fan base as we all know and he's been starting off the season very well in my opinion. Had a good game against Nottingham Forest, good game against Crystal Palace despite missing some chances and a very good cameo off the bench against Fulham. So excellent start to the season for Eddie and Ketty and he's been rewarded with that by a first ever England call up. Will he play? I don't really know to be honest because Southgate might just play Kane and this has happened to a few players where they get called up but don't really play but whether or not it's an absolutely fantastic achievement and I'm very very happy for Eddie Nketiah I believe he's one of the most underrated players in our team and I think he very much deserves his call up as he's been very very good for us this season so far and what an achievement for him you know getting his stock up much highly getting that first ever England senior call up after smashing it with the under 21s and you've seen the work he's put in you know the mentality he's got as well and he just very very much deserves this and I could couldn't be more happier for him his objective now is to try and stay in that England team and potentially push to try and start as he has in the Arsenal team but that's obviously for the future let's hope he gets some game time but Eddie Nketiah has received his first ever England call up and I'm very very happy for him and let's hope he celebrates that with a couple of goals against Manchester United this weekend and finally a slight update about Rob Holding as he's been heavily linked to Luton Town as we all know but the Luton Town manager Rob Edwards 
Woods was talking about the rumours with Rob Holding and he said that there's nothing in that one, I'm not sure where that came from. So obviously denying interest is usually, you know, quite usual within the manager but maybe on deadline day or just before that it's probably likely that he's telling the truth. So I guess you never know but Luton Town have signed uh, Ted and Mengi from Manchester United so I highly doubt they go for another centre back. So it's looking more and more likely with the Luton manager confirming that Rob Holding won't be going to Luton Town. It's obviously deadline day now so he could actually still leave but it looks like he's going to have to be abroad if he does end up leaving the club permanently. Have to wait and see his situation is still up in the air and deadline day moves can move very quickly so again want to keep an eye on until the last couple of hours and obviously our sporting director Edu Gaspar was talking about Arsenal's deadline day plans and the transfer market in general and he said that we've made a very strong strategy to be a very proactive at the beginning of the window I think we did it now we are talking about trying to balance the squad a bit better we keep talking to a few clubs but so far we are happy with the transfer window so he's right you know at the start of the window we got all our targets in right before the pre-season tour in America with Timber, Rice and Havertz all coming in pretty early and when he's talking about balancing the squad I think it's pretty obvious that he's talking about outgoings and trying to get some unwanted players at Arsenal out of the club. Nuno Tavares should be confirmed very soon but people like Rob Holding, Cedric, Laconga, Pepe they're all still here and for deadline day will we manage to get all these guys out in one day I'm not sure but let's hope we can get at least a couple out the door but in terms of incomings I'm not 100% convinced that we actually do anything to be honest. Before the Timber injury I was pretty comfy with our window but now that he's out for pretty much the year I would like to get one more defender in as we only have six recognised defenders but at the moment there's not even been a proper name linked or any you know little links that Arsenal are going to be buying another defender. On deadline day anything can happen last second Arsenal could go for something and the transfer window is very much crazy in this regard but as of now I personally think it's very unlikely and I would be pretty surprised if we actually do bring in another player never mind defender too but I guess you never know until the transfer window is closed anything can happen there could be a surprising sale or maybe even a surprising income that comes out of nowhere again very very surprising stuff can happen but the transfer window is coming to a close as well so have to be very very quick if we are to do something but that's it for this video guys thank you guys so much for watching make sure you let me know all your thoughts in the comment section below about everything I've discussed Surprisingly, a very quiet day in regards to incomings and outgoings considering it is the second last day of the transfer window. It's mainly been about the Champions League draw and Arsenal's new group so let me know your thoughts on the group and are you happy with it. And the other big news was obviously about Eddie and Ketia and what are your thoughts on this? How happy are you that he's received his first England senior call up? The only real transfer news was about Rob Holding and that's probably because Luton Town won't be going for him. And Edu saying that we're happy with the window so far so you know very very quiet stuff and it doesn't look like anything significant has actually progressed today this will probably be the last video i actually do that in regards to transfers as tomorrow's the deadline day and i might do you know a little video after that discussing what could have happened i don't know and obviously if anything breaks tomorrow i'll try and get something out as soon as i can but at the moment very very quiet today as it was mainly about eddie and ketia and the champions league draw and very quiet on transfers but yeah obviously big day tomorrow have to wait and see what arsenal do on deadline day and see who goes out the door and see if anybody comes back in the door but again that's it for this video guys make sure you check out the video i did yesterday where i talked about arsenal drawing brentford in the carabao cup and following balagan's move to monaco getting officially announced that should be popped up on the screen by now so check that out and also subscribe to the channel as it really helps make sure you also smash a like on this video as it helps as well and i'll see you in the next one